the Maverick Concerts, which is the oldest running summer chamber music festival, has been running for a hundred years and they were celebrating its centennial. The town needed a footprint of that celebration in the middle of town. Then I thought, so what is this show about? Is it about Woodstock? Is it about music? Is it about the Maverick? And it is the story of an astonishing art colony founded by Hervey White. He was a writer, an editor, a printer, and most of all, he was an astonishing cultural impresario. One of the people that he attracted was the sculptor John Flanagan, who is a very under-recognized person in the art history of the US and of the 20th century. He was one of the masters and leaders of the direct carving movement. There was this huge chestnut tree and he went at it with an ax and apparently went at it in a creative fury for two or three days and hacked that beautiful horse that you see on the Maverick stage. It also, from the first, was thought to be the symbol, not just of the colony, but of Hervey himself and of the kind of free, independent life that he craved. You sit in that concert hall and all of a sudden, you're always in the presence of this monumental figure of a horse. And the more you look at it, the more you become fascinated by it. It's the horse that gave the name to the colony. And it's very fascinating because every time anyone takes pictures of any performance, you always see the shadow of the horse. So I was very interested in making the horse and Flanagan a very important character in the story of the Maverick concerts.